Good morning reception, it's Miss Lewis here and it's time for our math session today. Now before we start I just want to say a big well done to loads of you, I can see loads of you have been on Numbox just recently, but I want to say well done to Logan and to Sev because I can see that they've been on really recently, so well done and keep up your hard work. Now today we're going to be looking at ordering our numbers to 20 and exploring our numbers to 20 a little bit more. Uh, we're going to start by looking at more and less. Let's talk a little bit about more and less. Who has more, the frog or the princess? We can work it out by either looking and deciding who has more or we can count to see who has more. How many golden balls does the frog have? One, two. How many does the princess have? One, two, three, four. Who has more? Can you point to the picture? Well done. The princess has more. Who has more now? The frog or the princess? Have a look. Remember, more means greater or bigger. Who has more? Who has the most? Can you point to them? Well done. The frog has the most. The frog has more. OK, last one. Who has more? Can you do this one on your own? You can either count the balls or look. Point to the character that has more, the frog or the princess. Well done, the frog has more. Well done everybody. Now we're gonna have a look about ordering our numbers to 10 but I'd like to give you the challenge of ordering your numbers to 20. We're going to play a little game on the computer first, then perhaps you'd like to pause the video. You can have a go at ordering your numbers to 10 by using the game on an iPad or a phone or a computer if you've got one at home. If not, perhaps you'd like to um, make your own number cards. Or you could even practice writing your numbers to 10 or challenge yourself and put them in order all the way to 20. Shall we have a look at the game? Okay guys, we're gonna start off by putting some numbers in order. Now this is a game you can go on your iPad or your computer or your phone and have a go at playing. The web address is www.topmarks.co.uk and if you put in caterpillar ordering, this should come up and you can have a go at putting the numbers in the right order. Now we're gonna start by ordering our numbers one to 10 and then we might have a go at one to 20. So the caterpillar has got some of the numbers already in place for us and we need to put the right body parts in the right place. So here we've got the number three, then the number four. Which number would come next? Then we can count to find out. Three, four, five. You're right. Let's pop the number five in there. And what number would come next? Three, four, five, six. And the next one? Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's check and see if we're correct. Well done, everybody. Okay, everybody, we're going to have a go at ordering some numbers. Now, we're just going to order our numbers 1 to 10. But if you wanted to at home, you can have a go at ordering your numbers to 20. Now, this is a game you can play on a website called Top Marks. If you want to have a go on your iPad or your tablet or your computer or your phone, you just need to type in www.topmarks.co.uk. And if you search for Caterpillar ordering, you can have a go at this game. So let's have a go. We've got a caterpillar here and you can see he's got body parts with numbers on. Now we need to find his missing body parts. So let's have a look. What numbers do we know? We've got four and
and five. Which number would come next? Let's have a look. Four, five, six. Well done. Let's pop in six. Now, which number would come next? Four, five, six, seven. Well done. Can you see we're building a number line? Our number line hasn't started at one or zero. It doesn't matter though, the numbers still need to be in the correct order. We've got one more to do, let's have a look. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's check to see if we got it right. Well done everybody, let's have another go. Oh, here we are, we've still got some missing body parts. Now, we need to start over here and we need to look carefully and count carefully to find our missing numbers. Now you can have a go at this one. Here we go. Five, six. Which number would come next? Shall I choose three? Four. Seven. Oh, okay. Seven it is. Here we go. Five, six, seven. Well done, eight. Oh, we've got one more. Five, six, seven, eight. What number comes in between eight and 10? Is it four, five, six, seven, eight, four? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well done. Let's check and see if we got it right. Fantastic work. Well done, everybody. Right, if you've had a go at that and you've made some number cards and put them in order or practised writing your numbers all the way to 20 and you fancy a bit more of a challenge today, we're going to have a look at putting numbers in order that are out of sequence. Now that sounds very, very confusing, doesn't it? But don't worry, I'm here to help and let's have a look together. So I've got with me to help me today, I've got my number line and I've got my number line 220 on the back. I can see I've been working hard on my maths and I've drawn on my number line as well so I can rub those bits off to help me out. And I've got myself some number cards. Now I've made some out of some paper and I've just put some numbers on there from 1 all the way to 20. You could even go from 0 if you wanted to to 20 or just to 10 if you fancied um, to make it a little bit easier for yourself. So I've got some number cards here and I've put some numbers on them and I'm just going to turn them upside down. Now I'm going to choose two numbers to start. I've got the number. Let's have a look. What number is this? Well done, it's 14. I'm going to stick 14 up here and I'm going to choose another one. I've got the number five. Well done, it, there it is. I've got five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to pin it up here as well. I've chosen two numbers. Now I need to put these numbers in order, starting with the smallest number, the number that is less, that has the least. So let's have a look, which number is the smallest? If I had 14 sweets and Mrs. Abbott had five sweets, who would have more? I would have more, wouldn't I? So 14 is bigger than five. If I was counting, which number would I say first? I'd say the number five. I can use my number line to help me. Here it is, look. I can find the number five. Here it is. And the number 14. 14 is bigger than 5. So if I was to write them down, I would need to write 5 first, because it is the smallest, and then the number 14 to put them in order. Let's have a look at another two numbers, shall we? Right, I'm going to choose two more. I've got the number. Are you ready for it? What number is it? Seven, well done, I've got the number seven. And the number one, well done, the number seven and the number one. Hmm, which number is more? 
which number is the biggest? Is it one or is it seven? Which one is more? Have a think. If you had, if these were sweets, which pile would you want? Would you want the one with one sweet or the one with seven? Which one has the most? You can use your number line to help you. I've got a slightly bigger number line here, which might be easier to see. I can use this to help me. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And it's got our Numicon shapes underneath. Which number is bigger? Which one has the most? Is it one or is it seven? You're right, seven is bigger, it is more. So I'm gonna to have to write the number one first. This number would come first and seven would come later, wouldn't it? If I was counting, I'd say one before I say seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, now for a little bit more of a challenge. This time I'm gonna give you three numbers to put in the right order, okay? Starting with the smallest, going to the biggest. So let's choose some numbers. First number I've got is six. Let's pin it up. The next number I've got is 10. And the third number I've got is the number three. Now I need to put these in order from the smallest to the biggest. So I need to look at which number I would say first when I was counting and think about their quantity. How many are there? If I want to, I could help, but help it could help me by drawing them. So I could start here and I could draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like mine to look like my our Numicon shapes. I could help me by drawing ten circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this number. What number is this number? Well done, it's three. I'm going to draw three. One, two, three. Now I need to look carefully. Which one ha is the smallest? Which one has the least? It's three, isn't it? It's got the smallest number of circles that I've drawn and it's smaller. I would say this number before I say six or 10 when I'm counting. So my smallest number is three. Now I need to look carefully, which number would come next if I was counting? Hmm, three, could it be 10? This looks like a bigger number. This one is the most. Six, six comes in between, doesn't it? It is not as small as three, but it is not as big as 10. So it goes three, six and finally the most the biggest number out of the three numbers I've chosen is 10. Well done. Right you can have a go at this at home on the next few slides you'll see some slides with three numbers on them. If you want to you can have a go at drawing those numbers in your home learning book you can draw pictures to go with them and put them in the correct order, starting with the smallest number to the biggest. Well done today and I'll see you very soon. Bye!